In today's idea of the day, we're going to have a little fun. I'm going to talk about perennial Star Wars characters versus the non-perennial and why the perennial characters are so important to the franchise. So before I talk about and reveal who my list of the perennial Star Wars characters and why they're so important, let's talk about what a perennial character is. And to do that, I'm going to illustrate that with Star Trek. It's the classic example of the non-perennial character. Because if you watch any episode of Star Trek, you might see Captain Kirk and Mr. Spock and Ensign Third Class uh, Jones beam down. And when you see that, you got three characters beaming down. And of course, Ensign Third Class Jones is probably in a red shirt. So the red shirts in Star Trek, there's a good chance not only will they not be in every episode, but when three beam down and the third one is Ensign Third Class Jones in his red shirt, you could probably assume they're only going to need two to beam back up. And that's a non-perennial character. Now in Star Wars, there are characters that die. There are characters that have been in certain movies, but there are the perennials. And why are they important? Like there was some debate when the new movie came out about whether Chewbacca got killed. Because there was this footage and you saw Rey and she looked like she was crying. And they, they, some people said, well, it looks like hey, maybe this Chewbacca's dead. Look, I see fur. I think that might be Chewbacca or something like that. And I knew Chewbacca wasn't going to get it. I knew they weren't going to kill off Chewbacca. And there's a huge reason. He's a perennial character. Now, how do I call him a perennial character? Well, let's talk about who my, my short list of perennials are. R2-D2, now BB-8, uh, C-3PO, Stormtroopers. Now, I know you're saying, well, the Stormtroopers are the red shirts of the Star Wars movie, but they're always there. That means that if you were to kill off a Stormtrooper, that's okay, another one will take his place, but you couldn't tell them apart. R2-D2 is a robot. C-3PO is a robot. Chewbacca is a Wookiee. Now, why is that important? What, what makes them perennials? Well, if you walk, as I did yesterday, into... Toys R Us, and you look down that aisle of toys, one thing you will see lots of is R2-D2s, C-3PO's, Stormtroopers, Chewbacca. Yes, there are Han Solo dolls. Yes, there are Luke Skywalker dolls. But if, that, if this franchise is going to be around for 50 years or 60 years or 70 years, you get where I'm going? The perennial characters are going to be in every single episode, and they could do that by just switching out actors, switching out who's running the remote controls on uh, a R2-D2 robot. BB-8, of course, has nothing inside. Kenny Baker used to be in R2-D2. Anthony Daniels uh, used to be inside a C-3PO, although he was more or less providing the voice in the, la the, the newer episodes, um, but he was there. But they could use somebody else for that voice, and they could definitely use anybody they want inside of an R2 or just have it completely robotic. And although we know Peter Mayhew is and was the personification of Chewbacca, if there came a time 50 years from now and they want to keep Chewbacca in the series, and they can because they've already shown him in the prequels to be a being from a race of uh, beings that, that live a long time, just as Yoda was 900 years old, they can use Chewbacca in movies whether or not Peter Mayhew is or isn't available to, to play the character. And R2-D2 will consistently be there. So those are perennial characters. And I kind of like the fact that uh, when you watch a movie, you kind of know that, you know, Chewbacca is going to be around, C-3PO is going to be around. I mean, look, they, they, they blew him apart in Empire Strikes Back. They tore him apart limb from limb. C-3PO is still there. And uh, according to uh, George Lucas's original vision for Star Wars, uh, it's really being, the story's really being told through the eyes of the robots, and more specifically R2-D2, because his memory was never erased. Uh, so uh, for a variety of reasons, um, the perennial characters will always be there. And I kind of like that. And just a little thought about that is today's idea of the day. So there you have it. Another great idea of the day. So if you could do me a big favor, there's a subscribe link in the corner. Look for it right now. It's in the corner. It's a little logo thingy. Subscribe to my brand new channel and you won't miss out on the fun. And I'll post a brand new idea every single day. And if you do, I promise you, some of them won't suck.